Hello guys, it's Antipodrish again and I would like to show in this video how I created the wind turbine mode. If you watched the previous video you could see how it works and um, there are multiple components all that stuff. So what you would need for this video is from the devs of course items for modding, which you will require the texture and the form of and OBG and MTL uh, material and object which is the 3D objects made it in this kind of software could be 3D Studio Max, Maya, Blender and then when you export the OBG you have also exported the configuration for a material because my, uh, my wind turbine is made of three components, though, I have the three components here for each, the three objects. As you can see, the base on the bottom, the extender and the cap. So, to create so, uh, we're gonna go back to menu, main menu, and go to the workshop, edit mode and the mode of the game and here we go that's my part I'm really interested with those three not the test ones but I'm gonna go through the from the beginning so I'm gonna create new mode which I'm gonna call um, tutorial tutorial mode if I could spell Okay, so that will be calling my tutorial mode. Now, what is important to know that if you follow the C driver, assuming using the Windows, that's your username, documents from the desk mode. And then when you navigate the modes, you will see this folder didn't exist, so I just created a tutorial and that's been, that exists, that has been created. So what I created here has been created there. That's what we should see, and that's what we see now, which is our folder, our new free created folder automatically uh, is empty. In this video I'm not going to go through the script, there will be next one, hopefully, uh, but uh, I'm going to show you how to have items ready. So what you would need first is... Let's follow from items. You're expecting to have three items, uh, like in my case. So, modding settings. Modding settings, so you can change the name if you're interested. New mod description, so you can type it anything. And autos include anti polish, which is me. And there's a save button which you can save it. And now when you press it, the header is just been created. So that's first element. So we've got here. So what header hold is is the tutorial mode, which is this, and uh, antipodish, which is my name. Also got identifier, which every object will have its in, uh, unique identif identifier. Hopefully, it's unique. If it's not then if you've got component with the same identifier it will conflict so this long number um, set of characters hopefully is unique it's kind of hashing and the new mode description which basically is here so either you just you can modify it here or you modify it here uh, in the game uh, it's up to you that's how it how it's done so okay let's do the item create the items the names of items is not really as important, but yeah, so items. So that's the items which are really um, displayed in your list when you play. So just create a new item. Okay, again, you've got identifiers, you've got the same principle behind. The name is vertical wind turbine. I'm just gonna short it to short writing. I'm terrible in writing, by the way. Uh, well, uh, this will be uh, base. 
I'm just copy because I'm lazy. Material to use and mesh to use. That in moment will come uh, in on time. I'm gonna explain later on. What's here? What you got here? The definition. What kind of element is this? Block construct, subconstruct, subconstruct main block. Typically, you stick to the block. So that's for the purpose of our tutorial. Now, inventory tab. This is like a group. If you remember renewable energy, I had the tab renewable energy. That will come here. We're gonna use the identifier. I'll show you later on. The position in the tab. I set up one and I set up two. That's reference into the sorry one. A reference in the, uh, in the inventory tab. A natural cost. So of course that cost of the materials. Uh, I just set anything scrap and. Doesn't have to be, it just let it be for now. Turning blocks pla uh, placed in places. So, uh, this is how the blocks orient uh, against the surface. And typically, I had this this way for my wind turbines. So, it basically, uh, when I move the block place above uh, on the surface, it turns always right way. Uh, and it just turns. So if I'm placing on the uh, on the bottom of the boat, it's uh, face up. Of course, you got weight, health, armor class, extended options, which we're not gonna go through, but uh, got some other interesting options which might be useful for certain purposes, like uh, explosion, no explosion. So you got have huge damage when exploding. Mm, drag options. I haven't set up those, so I left the default. Next one is yeah, drag options. Horizontal mirror replacement. So if you place in mirror, that's what it uses. Help link. Coding block group. That will be in next tutorial, not in this one. Referencing to classes. Item information. So got again external link, external link URL, and the previous item. So that's how it looks like the item at the moment. Of course, there's another option of uh, attaching more sub objects. There's more than one way, and that you can add here and basically do another mesh. Let me show you. Create another mesh object reference. All that stuff but we're not gonna do that I was able to avoid that for time being so create a vertical wind turbine base now I need a extender so every component will be the same in terms of items vertical wind turbine uh, extender I'm gonna copy that and paste here and uh, another component of the wind turbine cap. There we go. Got materials mesh to use. Position from the left. So the position, if this was 1 1, so the x position, so is the horizontal position, and the y is vertical position. So got, I will have, I want them aligned in vertical line. So one, and there will be two, so second position, and there will be just next below the second one. Whatever value for time being is not important. Twenty four, twenty three. Of course, I need to set up those things. It would be nice if there will be option to copy directly uh, elements. But for now, I need just do uh, everything manually. Maybe in the future. So, got those three objects. Now, what I would like to have is the material and the object and mesh. So let's do the material as in the follow. So material uh, is at the top. Is alphabetically? Uh, no, it's not. I thought it's alphabetically. No, it's not. Right. It asks me for the material. Materials here. I got one material which is common use for all objects. Depends how the object's been designed. I might use the one material or more materials. It depends how you replace it. 
call it. Doesn't matter what's the name, the, the most important is the reference. If you change name, I will see, um, it will change everywhere where it's been referenced. So it's material, uh, vertical wind turbine. Description of material, vertical wind turbine. Now, what is referencing to is the texture. So I need to create the texture. That new texture. I type it texture. Let's go into turbine. Nice. Material. Okay, yeah. Let's just check the name. To try to keep consistent. First, the texture and wind turbine. It's nice to have actually the name for this texture object either on front on the, or on the end. Because if I call uh, wind turbine, vertical wind turbine, well, vertical wind turbine, and try to reference the object, then it's very easy to get confused. I'll show you why. So I'm referencing the this object. Now there is button copy. I can copy that and uh, attach material, sorry, then my texture to the color texture and I paste it. If you want to have more, of course you can create, but uh, I don't bother in this stage. We've got previews, that's this default object, but at the moment I don't, don't have texture physically yet. So I just save the button. So I need to have move my, um, uh, my texture into that folder, you see. This folder in my game folder has been just created materials. So this guide map. So you can use the any texture document and create that file. So that's a reference for the element. Texture, which is those two elements. Let's see if I can. Yeah. And that's the format, how is the, uh, some other information, text, uh, the, the, the name, visibility, etc, etc. Okay, so now we need to load our texture, which um, I have somewhere here. So, item modeling texture. Now, I cannot just place it, well, yeah, you thought you could just place it here. No, you need the asset folder, which that's what it calls. So asset folder holds your texture and the objects. So I create asset. Assets, it's plural. So be correct with that. I move my uh, vertical wind turbine texture there. Also, because I'm required, I require my objects and the material. I'm not sure if I actually... I think I need, need material. I'll copy that just in case. So straight away, having that off the head, and I don't need to bother about that uh, folder anymore. So okay, we've got assets, so they're ready. So three models, and the texture. Let's go back. So I place my reference to the texture, and now, go back to my texture, and I need my name of the of the texture. So I need to grab it my name, which is in this case vertical wind turbine PNG. And in theory, if I do that, here we go. So it sees I press the flush button and uh, creates the texture. So now I go to the material. Do the preview. I don't see anything. Flush. Ooh, um, okay. <laughs> Color map texture. I don't wonder what I'm missing. Copy that. Material. Paste here. Flush. What I'm missing? Perhaps you might see um, straight away, but I'm become kind of blind. There's different options where you can change the color and the specular color intensity. Intensity. 
etc etc so the shine is and uh, that's not my texture uh, hold on I'm gonna check uh, in my renewable energy so that's my reference that's your material material reference that's the mesh so that's how it looks like pretty much There's all other options. Column up texture actually don't use. Well, I'm surprised actually. I thought I did use. Texture, let's have a look. Column up, boom, boom. Yeah, texture I think is now used. I just saw it. Yeah, the line. So I see I need to do the correction with the texture, by the way. Let's back to my color map. Because what's happened when you do the default um, copy, when you, the default object, see there are the lines now on the object. And you see the texture, so I know it works. And if I delete that, uh, preview, all texture gone. So I had that for some reason, I just deleted it uh, initially. Um, that works. Um, let's have a texture. Yes, so that works. I do wonder. Material reference. I copy. Copy. I copy that one because you can use the cross um, cross referencing for the material. Uh, material. And paste it here instead of other one. That's how it works. See, that's how it's supposed to work. So what I've done wrong. Copy texture and paste. Preview. I'm not sure why something something's changed or some problem with referencing. Okay, sorry guys for that, uh, this was totally unexpected, um, I'm gonna use my texture of the... No, it's very important, I don't want to just like jump, oh, this doesn't work, so let's move it further on, but... Okay, texture with turbine paste. For some reason he, he just... Don't see my texture, which uh, is a bit kind kind of uh, confusing. I try again. So I got saved that one. Got that one. Got the name. Copy. Material. Paste. Flush. Preview. I don't know, uh, I'm a bit confused now. <laughs> Let's have a see if with anything else uh, we'll have problem, but that's the concept and uh, hopefully I'm gonna figure out. Let's have a see actually if I got a missing reference, not the plugin, not plugin yet, it's not required at this stage. Material textures. So this is not required, but uh, it's welcome when you're doing the uh, coding. Uh, objects, that will be created when the object creates and the other elements will be created uh, accordingly. Rebuild configuration, I'll just rebuild the configuration and see if that helps. But so basically it reconfigures all settings, uh, you see the description by the way. 
applies to changes without saving them so that the game is now using the current state of all the modes. Preview. Yeah, so now I'm using. So I had to rebuild it. So that's good experience. Texture uh, uh, vertical wheel turbine. So yeah, that's good example. So what's happened? So if you confuse, uh, I think that's good experience. Okay. So now, got material. I got my items. So I need to put the material to use, so back, going back to material. The advantage of having material and the texture separate while well, creating, basically you can create material wherever you want, and then just referencing this one ID from other object, as you saw I did. And what do you do? Material use, and then just paste. Bam. Paste. And paste. Well, of course, there's still no mesh yet. So this is to be add, but give me a moment. So save to disk and let's see if there's any changes. Wouldn't expect any changes to, uh, at this stage, but uh, you've got those cap items, those three items, which have been just there, one, two, three, and guide map, which is reference uh, for the cap, for example, to, to FC4, which is just ending here, okay? Now, mesh, so I need mesh, so I need three meshes, three different meshes for each three of the objects. So I'm creating, let's go into a bind, uh, hold on, mesh, vertical uh, wind turbine and base, and just copy that, go back to that in a minute. Mm. Name, sorry. Mesh, but going to buy an extender. Copy paste. And. Cap. Copy paste. So you see, this name has been add, automatically add here and reference. So then we need, we need now file name. A URL if using webs. I don't know if URL works, but file name. So file name referencing to the asset again. So I'm gonna back to my asset folder and see my extenders objects. I'm looking for the object. So uh, if I just hover that, that's required material. So we're gonna back to the material and so the file name of the mesh should be X object, ignore the path. The file should be in the assets folder of the mod. So we have that. So let's do the cap. By the way, I'm using total commander here. Um, paste. And I don't need to copy the uh, material, so I uh, don't need to bother about that. Uh, preview. That's my object, very small. I'll tell you one minute what's going on. Base. So basically, when you create the objects using whatever software, if you got the right size, that's fine. But straight away, that's perfect. If for any reason it's not right size, if you make it smaller enough, you can resize it because you cannot have floating point here, you can only have integers, so uh, you can scale it multiple times, ha more than others, make it bigger than smaller. So in my case, I even correct this 10, which I just check, double check just in case. Yeah, it's 10, so I just basically resize it 10 times. Preview. So, hopefully, the scaling of your object or what you use or creating whatever uh, is uh, scaled uh, in nice numbers, not like 0.5 or whatever or 0.73, because it's much harder to scale with it. So, that's all my object, that's my cup. Alright? Now, let's use the default material for use. 
Uh, so I'm gonna use my material I just created. I can't create anything else, but uh, I'm interested in my material, so meshes paste paste it here. There you go. So now I'm interested about my mesh to go to my items. So paste mesh base. Now I said, you remember when I said very good to have names of uh, on the uh, meaning what it is because I can at the moment I can paste it mesh here. I will not load. We'll have some kind of conflict or we'll just not load. You will not see the object. Try to preview and see what's going on. So I did initially didn't put those um, prefixes and uh, start get confused very easily. So I need a material because sometimes you can copy paste accidentally and then identifying something would be, would be much harder. Yeah, that's fine. I know it's that's missing. So now I've got mesh, uh, so I can copy. Unfortunately, yet there are some missing buttons uh, in some sections, like a copy paste buttons. Copy, for example, from here, I would like to copy this element. But I can copy here, sorry, this one, which allows me, you know, quicker to copy just the mesh. I don't have to come back to the whatever mesh or a different section. Mm. However, yeah, in this case, I need to go back to mesh because mesh got different identifier. But if using the same, uh, for example, texture, I can copy in, in between objects. So I uh, paste, extend the mesh. Go back to mesh, cap, um, copy, sorry, copy, mm. and paste. So I can see now my preview, and doesn't work. Which is the previous mesh, cap, um, save. Try to rebuild. Maybe I got missing, it takes a moment to rebuild. Maybe I have missing missing something in the in the mesh. Oh, so oh, the ID been created. Preview. Ah, here we go. So you see that texture. So you can see now our meshes have been created. So I can see the structure, the factor is valid and other parameters are relevant. It's very easy to follow. This is just all, all in text format. And the guy mod. Yeah, so now what we would, we would like to have is have them actually put into the, into the section on the, when you're dragging the blocks into the, into the game. So, I should turn off the steam. <laughs> uh, so what we need is something like item group. If I'm correct. Oh, sorry, inventory tab. Inventory tab. Um, then we create inventory. Sorry, yeah. I'll try to type that. Tutorial mode. There we go. I got tutorial mode. Uh, display tab. Yes, that's true. Uh, desire position. That's the vertical position in between sections. So my position, for example, um, for renewable energy is section um, seven. So if I want to have theoretically above. So I'm gonna use this one as 6. My the other object might be with this number, so I'm not sure what would be the result. There will be kind of conflict on just one above other, and I don't know which gonna uh, be first. Uh, which one takes the priority, which tab. But preview windows uh, display coordinates. I think I didn't have set this up in my case. I got one, two, right. 
this is like uh, you got the blocks uh, in sections, um, the, the, the buttons of the elements which you selected. And I got that wrong because it's overlapping and I need to change that at least to something different. This is again the vertically and horizontally. Let's see to that, or maybe two. I'll show you in a minute what, the, what this means. So we had our objects, so the important, which I just forgot and just realized now. Um, where is it? Inventory tab. Why not? I thought this does preview will be represented. Okay, I'm just changing. No, yeah, okay, sorry, I do apologize. <laughs> I just get confused myself. So, your X and Y position for the preview be, must be different than X po Y position for the, uh, any of your items, otherwise it will be displayed in the same position or will be overlapping, which is not good. And I had that problem, just, just realizing I just fixed it. Well, we'll see. So let's say I got 2, 2 and 3, 3. three. So I don't need the link for the guide, we're not doing the guide at this moment, so let's say I'm just gonna rebuild uh, any configuration and see how it goes. So it takes moment. And I think, if I'm correct, that basics it. I'm not doing the, any audio or any object at the moment. Objects will be there for the next uh, tutorial. So if I got everything correct, I should be, go, should be able to go back. And that's, I think, pretty minimum to have those objects running. Let's have a see, actually, if they work. So... Tutorial mode. You see, got some, perhaps, fuel engine and also 7 uh, ID for the number, uh, sorry, 6 section. Means it conflicts and my renewable energy being pushed down. Now, that's the preview position. So that's my preview position. Initially I had preview here, so I couldn't see any object here and just realize. So now tutorial mode. That's my preview object, but I don't see buttons. <laughs> so we need to go back and I figure out what's going on. So let's go back. Ah yes, of course. I just realized. Items. When you got items and you need inventory tab reference. Okay, so your inventory tab, which is just you need to copy that, so that your inventory tab reference, and go to your items. Here you go, and paste here. One, two, and three. And that should do in theory. Save mode. Not true. I just reconfigure just in case. You can see, for example, if your file is changing, I could track it, but uh, not at this moment. So, uh, when that done, I think that should allow me to, to have inventory ready. So, tutorial mode, yes, here we go. And that's all my three items. So, one, two, you see, because I made it um, so they can be attached only from one direction to the surface, so I could do that if I do upside down, yeah, with the tab of course key, yeah, so they can be placed only on the, uh, on the one direction. And also that works, of course there is no description or anything like that, in, like in my case of, uh, in case of my wind turbine, uh, so you see you got description, so it's none. This is uh, referring to the code, which is not yet. And this will be for another tutorial. So, in terms of that, I think, uh, yes, that's what, that will be it. That's very basics, and you can, of course, uh, color it. Block. So it's the colors. Of course, the texture matter and the other settings, which they need to be played. The shininess uh, level, which goes the effect of white red 
because of the weather, the time of day change, the light, you know, this would be affected. So yeah, that's very basics and um, I hope you enjoy that this will be any kind of useful. And after that, I'm gonna do another video uh, with, with the coding. Uh, with the coding, actually applying the code and maybe then with a bit of coding which is a bit, bit much more actually <laughs> involved. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Cheers.